Hello everyone, in this DCS video, I'm going to show you how to install the Super Hornet. The latest version at the time of this recording is 2.25. Well, yeah, 2.25. All right, let's just do this quickly here. But what the first thing I want to cover, right, is your installation folder. Yes, I'm using Steam right here. So if you're Steam, I do have standalone as well, but for anyways, for I just have both but anyways for steam you want to either or you want to point this at your DCS world folder DCS world folder not your save games folder your D, wherever DCS world is installed that's the folder you want to put here now I think that's the number one step that people get wrong here they want to point it at their save games folder no for this type of mod it's going to overwrite DCS files and that's the only reason I think this tutorial might go longer is me trying to cover the edge cases Anyways, if you ever watch my other Tutorials like for the Sufa mod I'm probably mispronouncing my bad f16d I can pronounce that better f16d f16i that tutorial It is this basically the exact same thing. So let's hurry up and do this right so when I downloaded this I unzipped it Make sure you watch out for this. Like, you might have a folder within a folder. So we're going to verify this. Like, I just know from experience, like, when I come in here, I, you know, this is core mods. That's how you know this is going into your DCS installation folder. Not save games, because we're overwriting files. That's the reason why. All right. So we're going to grab this. That's all we're going to do. We're going to cut this. We're going to cut. Or you can just drag it. I should have just did a drag, right? And I have a folder here. Right now I have it set to empty. But any mod that's overriding DCS core files, like the F16D. Alright, that was really quick. That was really quick. Since I'm going from M2 to M2. Might be a little bit slower for you all. And then we're going to go in here. OVGME is the name of the tool that we're using. I like to use this tool instead of instead of uh because there's another way which i'm not showing in this video i do it this way but there's another way you just drag the folder over and let it just stump all your dcs files the only problem with doing that right here i just click enable by the way i click enable and that's it that's it folks we already got the mod installed and now all you need to do is just go and run dcs and you should have the mod right there and that's basically it but okay so what I was trying to explain is I do it this way because like if I'm going to play a multiplayer on a server that has I am forgetting the name <laughs> there's a check right I forgot the name I have to put it in the description now but there's a check that DCS does and like if you're overriding core files then if they had that integrity it's called integrity check if the integrity check is enabled on that server, then this mod will fail the integrity check. So that's why, I like, for multiplayer for certain servers, I'm gonna disable it. See, it's at a, it's a, it's just a click. But if you manually drag and overwrite, then you need to have, you'll have to like reinstall the, or you have to repair. I shouldn't say reinstall. You're gonna have to repair your DCS installation. But doing it this way, I'm good. I'm trying to think of any other edge cases. I might not have covered, so notice I have a folder here. This folder does not matter where you put it. This might confuse people because I know it says DCS, but this is just a folder that I put random, just DCS stuff. And But this is just a folder. This is just this folder could be anywhere, and this folder is where you're going to install your mods from. I'm trying to think of anything else right quick, but that should be it. I know certain mods... Like if you have a historical, there's a historical mode inside the editor. Certain mods like this won't work. Also, I probably forgot at the very beginning. I see people ask this all the time. Yes, you need to have F18 module. I forgot to say it at the very beginning. You have to have that module installed. You have to own that module. This is not like, even though this mod itself is free, the Super Hornet, 
the the basic module, the DCS module, you have to pay for that. Or maybe you could trial it out too. You could do a two week trial, and that's why you want to have standalone. I have both standalone and Steam installed at the moment. I just have the hard drive space at the moment, but eventually I'm just going to probably end up switching to standalone since there's really not much reason to stick with the Steam version. All right, uh, that's basically it. And hopefully you don't have any issues. If you have any issues, let me know down in the comments. Um, it should be pretty straightforward, just like installing any other mod, just like my other videos. All right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, if this was helpful, please leave me a like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Thanks, thanks again. Bye.